I feel like I need to come here to prove my innocence, you know what I'm saying? Because she's trying to bash and slander my name. That's not the type of person I am, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I told her, you got to have some type of insecurity in yourself to feel like I slept with your mother. We broke up. At the time, Maisha was seeing somebody else, so she no longer wanted me to see her daughter. For me, you know what I mean? To be able to see her daughter, I had to go through her mother. You know what I'm saying? So I'm calling her mother, asking her, like, what's going on? Why is she not answering her phone? You know what I'm saying? She's like, you know, Nigel, be honest with you, she got somebody else over there. I said, listen, the least you're gonna do, you know what I'm saying, is at least let me see the baby still, you know what I'm saying? She still called me daddy, calls me, and all that. So her mother was bringing her daughter over to see me. You know what I'm saying? So when her daughter come over to see me, she's telling me everything that's going on in the house. Like, she walked in the room on them one time when they was doing it, whatever. I'm like, what? So then I started going crazy, like, what the hell, what the hell's going on in this household? Like, I, so I confronted her, and after that, she left homeboy alone. We tried to get back together after our breakup. As we got back together, she started seeing all these cash apps on my phone from when I was sending her mom, not knowing what's for your daughter. This says for food, or for gas, whatever I sent it for. I put the note, subject, what it's for. Honestly, me and her mother, like when we first when we first met, I looked at her as like a like a, a second mother, like a mother-in-law. She treated me as a son-in-law. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it wasn't nothing sexual or none of that. And all of a sudden, you get with this dude, he tells you a rumor about me, and you start running off with it, believing it. Honestly, I, didn't, I really didn't think she was gonna call Steve Wilkos because I've been telling her for months and months on end. Listen, I don't give a damn what I gotta do. If I gotta go to the show, take a lot of take a test, I'm just tired of this. You're gonna have to apologize to me, but only all of that, your mother too. Because she don't deserve this. Like, you don't put her on Facebook, embarrassing her, sabotaging her name, like she'd really be out here sleeping with your where, 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 where her daughter's uh, boyfriend. Come on now, man. That's crazy. Do you really believe that he's been sleeping with your mother? I absolutely do. I'm convinced that there is something going on between them that's inappropriate. It's too many red flags. When we was broken up, my mom and him pretended not to be in contact with one another. But ultimately, they were. When me and him breaks up, he always, you know, say my daughter's not his daughter because he's not her biological father. My daughter does not mean anything to him other than when he's in a relationship with me. So I tried to cut contact because I knew I wasn't going to be with him anymore. My mom ultimately started sneaking and letting my daughter see him behind my back. That was one red flag. He's very disrespectful to me, so I didn't want them to continue to build a relationship. And it's not his biological daughter? No, it's not. Her father's okay. deceased. Okay. And then after that, over the summer when we was broken up, um, we had a dog in common that we both brought together. We, he put 200, I put 200. Okay. So he took the dog with him ultimately when he left, but then he was unable to give the dog a good home. So when he wasn't able to give the dog a good home no more, he went and gave the dog to my mom. My mom called me, asked me to take the dog. When I went to go and pick the dog up, she calls him on the phone like, Nigel, um, Maisha's here, she's gonna take Diva. He was on the phone with her, talking to her like, in a sense, like, like no son-in-law should talk to a mother. Don't give her the dog, she can't have it, you keep the dog or I'll come get my dog. So I'm like, why are you talking to my mother like that, first of all? Like, what makes you so comfortable? You heard it. Yeah, I heard the yeah. conversation. I was in the car with her. Yeah. So then after that, I confronted him. Me and him got the arguing. He kept trying to pursue me, like talk to me and want me to come meet up with him to have a conversation. So when I went to meet up with Nigel, I went and met him at a hotel. We meet at a hotel. We talked. We stayed there together, whatever. I ultimately wasn't for it. Yeah, we did have sex that night, yeah. but at first well, I mean, I why are you meeting at a hotel? Um, yeah, because he doesn't have a house. I yeah, have a but house, plus, but he wasn't welcome to mine. Yeah, to have... Yeah, sex. Yeah. But <laughs> the first... So then after that, um, when we met at the hotel, we was there, and Nigel, um, phone rings. It's 3.30 in the morning. Nobody knows we're there. It's my... Surprised me when it was a block call, but when he put it on speaker, it was my mother. And she was like, Nigel, where you at, Schenectady or Troy? Why are you asking him where he at at 3.30 in the morning? She's calling him at 3.30 in the morning. 3.30 in the morning. And she I'm said, like, why are you calling my boyfriend at 3.30 in the morning? Asking him, can he cash app her? Cash app you what? You have 11 children. What's, what does that mean, cash app? She wants money? Money for gas or whatever she was calling for. Where, what, what was she doing at 3 in the morning? Got me. I thought she was trying to check his temperature to get a booty call or what. 
Why are you asking him if he is connected? Well, to she her? had to come up with an excuse real quick. Why she was calling? You could call anybody else, and at this time, we're we were supposed to be broken up. How old is your mom? My mom is fifty-two. Fifty-two. Yes. And in the picture, she does look pretty good. Yeah, she does. And yeah. she had eleven natural children. She's got eleven kids, huh? Eleven kids, eleven fathers. Man, wait, wait a second. Eleven kids, eleven fathers. Damn near. Wow. Which one are you? Me. Um, three. Number three? That's my lucky number. Yeah. yeah. So we're not too far apart in age, and I felt like yeah. she vicariously lives to me at times. So after that, me and him got to arguing really and fighting. Do you think that your mom is sleeping with Nigel? It's just too many red flags. It begins... Has she ever done anything sketchy in her past? Yeah. Yeah. Very. I mean, if you're having 11 kids with 11 different guys. I got to imagine you did something sketchy yeah. at some point. We all, it's not 11 different guys. She's like not here, two is she? Or no. four of us have... Um, the same father. She backed out today. Man, I'd love to have her. Up here. until the point we were supposed to come on the show, she'd been acting like she was gonna show up, she was gonna appear. They gave her many options to come on the show virtually from home. Like, why won't you do it? If I'm right. lying and I'm like crazy, why, why not do it? I'm gonna have you just go backstage for a second. Go ahead. Go yeah, she your... what, what she said, is Maisha with you? And what I said, I said, yes, she is. She said, do you or Maisha have money on Cash App to send me so I can get gas money to go to PA to see my boyfriend? I said, no. So you're sitting there, you're lying. Okay. She called your phone first, you declined it. I picked up. The mom's kind of hot though, right? Yeah, the mom, listen, I, I'm not gonna lie. She's not, listen, she's not your, right, listen. I mean, I, I saw a picture I'm not, I'm not the person to talk right. She's not your regular 50 year old walking around, neck look like raisins, you know? <laughs> No, for real. So I, no, she's a good-looking woman. Exactly. So I told her, like, you have that's your mother. You should never be insecure about your mother. But you, uh, you and my, you should date, and she said that you both cheat on each other, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, why, why stay in a relationship where? I mean, you must both be okay with you. Only reason with why people. I stay in a relationship, honestly, Steve, was because of the baby. You I, I become love the baby. attached. I, I love, yes, I love the baby to death. I've been in her life since she was two and a half years old. She lost her father when she was six months old, hasn't had a father. Every day she wakes up, that little girl looks for me. So you feel like you're dead? Yes, yeah. she, she calls me dad. She, she knows nobody else but me. Yeah. So that's the only reason why. So the reason but why- that, but, but by both being, you know, not faithful to each other, it does cause problems in the relationship. Absolutely. Okay. Does the mom act inappropriate with you? To a certain degree, yes, I can yeah. say that. Yes. Like what does she do? Like as far as like her, the little clothes she, she, she wears, I told her I feel uncomfortable. You need to talk to your mom about She's that. She's just as sexy around you. Yeah. Does she flirt with you? No. No, No, not at all. What about when the little girl said she saw you and uh, her grandmother laying in bed nah, together? that was the whole thing that I, that I was about to say. She's only repeating, she's five years old, Steve. That little girl's only repeating what the hell she hears her say. All week, weeks on, weeks on, and then she's hearing her, me and her argue, oh, you probably had her in my bed sleeping with her, this and that, this and that. So, so like, she didn't see you? She didn't see It's so like I said, she's five years old, she's hearing it. Her mom came home from work, like I said. They went to the store. Now, when they on the, we're at the store, she calls me. She doesn't come, get back to the house yet. Pack your ready to da, da, da. Don't even tell me what to go. What's, what's going on? I said to her, I'm like, yo, nah, something ain't right. Your daughter told you something funny again, because I already know this is what happened. So as soon as she get back in the house, her daughter looks at me, starts smiling, and runs up the stairs. Did Were you ever in bed with her mom? Never. 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 All right, Maya, she, you came here. You took a lie detector test. And we asked you, since getting back with Nigel in May of 2022, have you had any sexual intercourse with any other men besides Nigel? You answered no. Since getting back with Nigel in May of 2022, have you had any physical sexual activities with any other men besides Nigel? You answered no. Results came back the same to each of those two questions. And it came back that Maisha told the truth. Now tell me, let's get yours. Come on now. We asked Nigel, have you ever had sexual intercourse with Maisha's mother? He answered no. Have you ever had any sexual activity with Maisha's mother. He answered no. The results for those two questions came back the same, and it came back that Nigel told the truth. Come here! 
I don't want to do it. She thought I was cheating with her mom? Come out here, you're not done yet. You still got results, buddy. Oh, let him go. Bring that ass here, boy. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. Nigel I'm did, done with you. he did admit that he's had thoughts of your mom in a sexual way, fantasy-wise. Huh? Really? Huh? Go ahead. Really? Come okay, come on, come on. Really? No, no, okay. no, no, no. Really? Go ahead. I mean, go ahead. You, you know, I mean. Dirty dog guys, ass. Huh? Oh, well, you Wait, fantasize well, about her while you no. Okay. Nah, let's clean it up. Let's clean it up. You want me to? No. I don't know. Do you? No. You a lion, grit, sack, feast, thank you. Don't love oh, no. Jesus in your heart, puppy. No. But that's why you keep running. Hold on, but time Bye. out. She said, but why she keep Bye. running back, though? Why she keep running back, though? Okay. Because you always, you're okay. begging. Oh, shut up. Why you keep Calling, running back? Bleeding. I got text messages you saying you, you missed this. Stop okay. it. Miss what? You, What's you there know to what miss? You miss? You're for the community. You know what you miss? Okay. <laughs> then we went on to ask. Nigel, since getting back together with Maisha in May 2022, mm -hmm. have you engaged in any phys physical sexual acts with more than one other woman besides <laughs> Maisha? He answered no. Since getting back with Maisha in May of 2022, have you engaged in any sexual intercourse with more than one other woman besides Maisha? He answered no. The results came back the same to those two questions, and it came back that Nigel did not tell the truth. Oh. Yeah. You a little nah. bum ass. Yeah. Keep running, bitch. Keep running. <laughs> Excuse me. My <laughs> that ass serious? Come on, come on. Excuse me. Stop. What do you mean? Go it's not about you want to be with on, Bitch, right? you could have told me this. You think it's funny, you Bozo, you could have told me this before the show. You could have told me we was pregnant too by that. It's over. It's over. It is over, but yeah. still. I know. Like, well, here. Just, you, you, hey, hey give me that news. phone, I'll bolt your broke ass. The good news is you can still have a relationship with your mom. I ain't having a relationship with neither one of them. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> think this is funny. You all right? I'm good. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I can do that too.